Thanks for listening to our lessons from our daily Bible reading. The lesson today is start young. You know, one of the most amazing passages we read in God's word is in the book of Acts, the 13th chapter. And we read about David, who was the son of Jesse in Acts 13 and verse 22. A man after mine own heart said God, said he, he knew him. He would do all of his will. And you think about what an amazing thing it would be to be such a person or help our children to be such a person, or our grandchildren, or others you know. And you think about, how is it that such is accomplished? Well, in our reading last Friday, David gave us some clues in the things that we read of his inspired writing. One was in Psalm 88 and verse 15, where he says, I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. You look and, and you think, how David was a doer. Here is a young man who went out to check on his brothers, ended up fighting a giant. As a, a young man whom God named to be the successor of Saul, he stood against the threats and such and re retained his integrity. He retained his morality. He did those things that were right, even under stress and trial and discouragement and, and punishment. He kept on going because he determined to be a doer, not just a hearer. James warns against becoming that such a person. But the thing is, you can't do what you don't know. And so we need to realize, too, we need to start young on learning and thus young on teaching. In Psalm 78, he says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known. Our fathers have told us, will not hide them from our children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord, his strength, his wonderful works he hath done. In other words, David was taught from a youth up. That's why he went with such surety and looked to the giant and said, is there not a cause? He knew that cause. Do we teach our children that? Do they listen? We need to teach our children to learn the word of God, but we need to be teachers and we need to encourage them to be doers. And you know, one of the best ways to do that, be a doer yourself. Let them become like you and I because they see us as doers. Start young. That's a key. Sometimes we look and we, we might think of ourselves. We waited too long. Well, let me tell you what I tell people all the time. You're younger right now than you'll ever be for the rest of your life. Start young. If you haven't been a doer, if you haven't been a teacher of others, if you haven't been a learner, start now. But help those young ones around you. We need men like David. We need you and I to be like David. Thanks for listening. You have a great day. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.